So here we go guys, this is the grand final. This is going to be Rocket against Visual. It's going to be um, Gold Rush is the first map. We did see Squeers absolutely de destroying in the, in the lower bracket final, in the upper bracket final, sorry. He's going to get off that nade on towards side as early as possible. It's not going to be able to get up a kill. And the uh, synchronization of this Ross um, Squeers side defense and uh, Coop covering their back with uh, Milk on back as well with Coop rotating towards that back. Those four guys work so well together. Particularly Coop going back and forth. They're going to be able to slow down this side push at the beginning. Visual are going to have to go really hard here. It's going to be really difficult for them just because they're going to be a bit more tired. They have played a lot more games. They haven't had that break whereas Rocket have been sitting around a little bit just chilling out. Squid again on this side push. Coop's going to be able to pick up a double kill. And Rocket are going to be able to get a clean sweep of kills on that push. And it's going to be an uphill struggle for Visual. But they do know they can get that tank. They did it last time with three minutes remaining on the clock. They can get it done within the first five minutes. They have given themselves a chance of getting a time here on, a, on Gold Rush. As we are going to watch Coop. He's in a key position. He's uh, going to ping off a, a rifle grenade very soon. As uh, the push is coming in, he does get one down. As uh, the three or four man push is coming in and towards his side area. And uh, Ross is going to get taken down as well. They are going to move on towards the tank. Uh, he's going to walk over a mine. No revive comes in on the engineer. And uh, the rocket guys are going to respawn in. And uh, retake the tank area. Go quite aggressive just as they were before on side. As you got the aggressive engineer play from Coop. He's going to get off that rifle grenade. Kills by himself, going to be able to take down Squeers. He's got Rostus to deal with as well, who uh, doesn't manage to uh, get much in after that Gizmo, Gizmo kill. Push from uh, uh, Lampjit in this side area is going to get taken down. I think we did have one guy in the corner, he's going to get taken down as well. Raz picking up that double frag, maybe Visual making some progress on this side area. Raz going aggressive on main. And. Uh, there's no push on main just yet. Oh, there is now. Engineer and Hypertech's going to be pushing through this main area. As you're going to see the knife kill come in off Ross. And we're probably going to see a uh, tank attempt as four or five guys. Knife kill comes in for Gizmo. Uh, oh, that was on Ross in that one on one. My bad, that reaction time. As uh, <laughs> the, the Axis defense are being pushed quite heavily back. And this is where a field up would be really good for the Allies. You know, if you have that Medixa style. Um, the player in position getting those uh, artilleries down but that is what I've already said visual do seem to lack that that player as you're gonna see Lamji make it quite close to the tank but not close enough he's gonna put a bit of a charge in not gonna happen for him he is taking out on four hybrid gonna be able to push inside and uh, he's gonna follow up by insane insane's gonna just completely leave his engineer out to hang him out to dry as, uh, He's going to get taken down on fall. That Surprise, wasn't really that, that, worth, uh, that worth push. As I do get another donation. Amazing stuff. I will check that after this game, guys. As we're seeing the push from Hypertech come through main. It's going to get taken down by uh, by Ross there. As uh, the revive comes in to these guys. They're both in their like, main sort of uh, nook in that front of main. And the double kill comes in for Raz. And the first stage is going to be defended so far by about four minutes. And uh, Rocket continuing where they left off in the upper bracket final. Yeah, quite a lot of time on the clock for their attack on this first stage. Team Kill does come on on this first uh, on this like main area. Ross is in position to slow them down on that push. Gizmo is going to get taken down. Side push comes in. They have no idea Ross is in this corner area. But a bit, Ross doesn't get that kill, but he does get in on a lot of damage. Oh, he does actually take down Elba. I completely missed that one. As, uh, the rest of the Rocket players stop cleaning up the kills. Lamp does reply, he does manage to get one in, but he's not going to be able to finish it off as he's out for full spawn and they need to be attacking at six. They can't have any, um, they can't have any small spawns, they can't have any, uh, like three, four man pushes. They, they are doing quite well with those overwhelming pushes, they're getting very close to the tank. If they have six, they've got a chance, and I think that was Outlaw as well. He is going to respawn in just in time, so that's not too bad. This is going to be a, a good chance at a six man push for the uh, visual team as you see Insane is taken down by Coop's landmine and more kills come in for, for Rocket as you see a back push coming in for visual there's three guys on this back area as uh, 
It's going to be uh, insane taking down. The revive does come in. And uh, we see more uh, uh, fresh push coming towards the back. Uh, Raz and Squid's going to be able to pick up frags. A couple of visual frags going to stack up. And they're going to have a chance to move towards this tank on the respawn. As a big double grenade comes out from Coop. And that's going to slow down the engineer enough that the respawn's going to come back in. A big rifle grenade from Coop as well. And that's going to be three kills from Coop on that back area. But the double team kill comes in. And we're going to see Lemke just walking main triple. Um, four kills coming in for Cherry after that double um, team kill. And uh, somehow, somehow, he saves the day. It was all down to Cherry uh, that they were going to be put under that much pressure. Nice nade on main. Doesn't actually get the kill in. And we're going to see a two-man push on towards main. Insane is going to get taken down as Gizmo is going to get that revive. And we're going to see the push in towards main from insane yeah i said that he's gonna push in main as uh, he's gonna get taken down near the near the tank double frag comes in from milk from that back area as uh rocket again gonna be able to push out from that respawn and retake their positions um on this uh, first stage of first stage of gold rush and i've got some weird feeling i've been calling gold rush radar yeah okay. so they're doing quite well at the beginning they are have given a bit been given a bit of a break here no pushes coming in. They do know that the main push is on, though. As a, a nice nade over the top is going to take down Lamp. That's going to be no uh, rifle kill on the on the respawn just uh, just yet. Uh, we do see one visual player make it into that corner area. It was uh, out there, I think he was. Uh, he did kill out. Uh, so we're going to see a couple of guys outside main. Cherry's going to try and deal with them. Raz is going to get taken down by that uh, uh, rifle grenade of, of Lamp. We've got three guys on this back area. Gonna just uh, the last man, last guy standing. On the axis. Nice, uh, nice kill from Ross. It's gonna be able to slow down that main push from Lamp, and they're gonna be able to get back in position once again at this tank. But no mines are up for the axis. Lots of uh, damage coming in for Raz. He has been taken down. He did get in one give though. And so they're gonna rely on these. Uh, Remaining players of the rocket team to get in some long range long range damage. I don't see Coop anywhere uh, to get in those rifle shots either. I think he has been taken down. And, uh, the allies are starting to move towards that truck area, uh, the tank area. Sorry, lots of damage coming in. Milk picks up a triple kill, and we do see Squeeze taken down. Lamp does get that rifle grenade in. That gives uh, gives the Welshman as you see Coop going quite aggressive towards his side area. He's just going to try and release some pressure. He does manage to get one kill. Double kill coming out from Ross on that main area as well. And uh, Rocket doing a really fantastic job at this main stage. Uh, sorry, at this uh, first stage of the map. As you see, an engineer creeping main is going to get killed by Cherry as he slash kills a grenade in his hand. The respawn of Axis again coming in. Allies having positions on the side area. He's going to be able to pick up that revive. But he's going to get taken down by Coop's rifle grenade as well. And... Uh, Okay. I'm going to be able to put at least 10 minutes on the clock, at least 10 minutes on the clock for uh, their attack. And again, we're looking like we could see a full hold. And as the push comes towards main, Hypertech may be able to get in here, as this is a be much better time to oh, insane even. It's going to walk on a mine and get taken down. Unfortunately, it's uh, going to just be a yeah, grinder attack, so basically. The rocket grinder is just going to sit there and chew this, uh, chew this visual team up. Uh, they are going to be able to make it inside. They have got a three or four man push on the side area. Rifle grenade comes out from Coop. Does pick up one. Flank comes around the side from Squiz. He picks up that double kill and that's going to be one out for four. Gizmo gets stabbed as well. That's that revenge stab. We saw Ross get stabbed by Gizmo earlier on. As uh, yeah. The shreds this time have been really, really funny. So many knife kills coming out. We could like literally have a knife section of the, the land frag movie. Double kill comes out from Coop with that K43 and the Rocket Boys are in full control at this first stage. Big Nade comes out from Raz. He's been doing that a couple of times today. He does pick up that one one frag just there. And that's just mainly to just annoy them. Uh, maybe getting a bit of damage, but always gonna be able to to kill somebody. As uh, I think uh, Raz has been taken out at main. Maybe you're gonna see Ross rotate round. Sort of retake his position actually. Cherry's gonna go quite aggressive and, and take that main position. Nate's gonna come in towards this main area. As uh, I'm not, I just realized I am uh, I'm actually not a, uh, a referee, so I 
I can't see any mines anywhere, as you're going to see. Hybertech get taken down next to the tank. I think that mine's going to burn as well and give him. As, uh, so no revive's going to come in. Avert is in this corner. He's going to um, get stuck between a uh, nice double kill by Raz so as he closes in, kills Ava and drops down Outlaw as well. Four minutes and 40 seconds remaining. And this is looking more and more like a full hold here from from uh, the Rocket guys. I'm going to try and pick up some visual players, but right before, they're, they're not surviving very long. I'm pushing this main area. And uh, we'll see what they can do as you see. Lamp does get taken down by that rifle grenade of Coop. And uh, they're not really uh, getting a chance. They did get in, I think, the last three minutes on the last time they, these guys played in the upper bracket final. You're going to see the push come in. <laughs> Tries to play as the engineer of the Axis, and that's not how it works. Ross picks up a couple of kills on his side area. He's going to be squeezed with another. Hybrotech taken out for, uh, for a full spawn there. The engineer dropped down. And this is uh, looking very one sided here on, on Gold Rush. This first stage very, very strong from, uh, from Rocket. As I'm going to watch Raz push down towards main. Great He's shot. not going to have anyone to deal with as they're going to all rotate around towards this side area. Uh, Ross, Grenade, not going to take anyone down. But he's going to know there's a bit more freedom to move up as maybe there's the push onto back. That last grenade came out of nowhere. And he's going to put on quite a bit of damage towards Coop. He is gibbed as well by the brand of, of Lamp there. And uh, 3 minutes, 15 seconds remaining on the clock now. And that is definitely going to be a full hold. Um, whether they manage to grab the tank or not is anyone's guess. As you see Raz pick up a triple, a uh, double kill, sorry. Uh, Squiz picks up a double himself. And uh, it's so hard when you're playing against um, such a good mix of good players. If you're playing against like one top aim and three um, okayish players with the aim, it's not too bad. They're playing against Squiz, top aim. Playing against Raz, top aim. They're playing against Cherry, who has some really good aim for an SMG engineer. And Ross, very underrated shooter. Um, he generally positions himself in, in places where he's going to have the upper hand. So uh, if that wasn't enough, they managed to get through. Koopsa was there with the, uh, the rifle grenade as well. But maybe you're going to see Lamp and Ava make some moves on this side area. They do take one down. Um, Raz dropped as well. They move towards that tank. A nice revive comes in on Raz. And uh, the right away from Lamp is going to be able to get another kill. Cherry is going to be called upon again. He's priming that nade up. He's going to get taken down before he can get off. And we're going to see that tank probably get built up by the uh, by the allies now. As uh, a couple of kills coming in. I think Milk um, spawned in by that tank area by accident. And we're going to see uh, some charge put into this barrier any second now. He may not even bother. Uh, this is indeed going to be a full hold. And uh, visual guys are going to have to pick themselves up. It's a, a big tough ask for them to get a full hold themselves to, to equal this game up. But they've got to try. They've got to try. They get one chance, really. May as well put in that effort, as I think, if I remember rightly, in the upper bracket final, we saw Rocket grab that tank so very quickly. As, uh, Rocket, I've got all the frags. Nice, uh, nice pistol shot from Ross, and that's what I mean. Yeah, isn't that bad with that, that pistol? Isn't that bad with that SMG? People say he's bad. People say he's bad. As uh, Rocket again, just cleaning up. This is going to be the last uh, 45 seconds of the game. They might be able to spawn in one more time. And the Rocket guys. He's going to be getting one more spawn in. Nice shot by Milk. He's going to be able to pick up that frag. He's going to try and continue it. He does pick up a frag onto Hybrotech as well. And uh, he's going to respawn in. As, uh, this is definitely going to be a full hold. It looks like it could happen for the uh, visual guys um, a couple of times. But Rocket, too strong. Uh, like even, even when they're getting pushed back and, and under, under a lot of pressure, they're still going to get in a lot of damage. Still going to get in a few kills. 
and the second the second you think you're breaking through, the respawn's coming back in to, to destroy you. So you have to get those spawn kills in. It's a it's a team that you really the, the spawn kills are vital. And we're gonna see uh let me see the scores for this first round. It's gonna be uh Coop with 40 kills this time, Ross with 33, Squeers back up there with 30, and uh, so close, Cherry and Raz 29, 29. All these guys doing uh, really like a lot of, a lot of equal work. But Coop getting a, a, quite a lot of frags, uh, Milk on that back area. You, the back guy sometimes have a, has a lot to do, sometimes doesn't have much to do. So. Uh, as we see uh visual now. They did pick up quite a, a few kills, nearly got double fragged. 6k damage difference, 20 gibs. That is the standard for that long. Affirmative. Prepare to fight. We're gonna see Rocket on the attack. Fight. Steal the tank. Construct the command post. And they're gonna try and get this tank as quickly as possible. They did manage to get it very quickly in the last uh, last game between these two. And Coop looks to be uh, ready. Ready. He's gonna push in. Stop putting a lot of charge. He's gonna put in so much charge on that tank. How does he do it? He did manage to pick it up last time, I think. As uh, Raz is gonna dive on his own artillery, unfortunately. Uh, we could have had a the tank. the tank has been repaired, and that first stage defense from Visual is like not even there, not even there at all. And, uh, they have got to the grand final by uh, playing Adonest pretty much the entire time. Yeah, managing to take down teams on that map and grinding out wins on the siders. They seem to be destroyed here again. Much. They do get the barrier up again. I think they managed to get the barrier up last time. And uh, we're going to see if they can get the plant down on the barrier. It's going to be cherry with that plant. As uh, he's going to push across to the bridge. Uh, the plant is already down. Nice shooting from cherry. So he's got a headshot onto these two guys in this room. It's not going to happen for him. The CP is going to get built up. Squiz on the Panzer. I'm going to follow him. And I think he's going to try and get down on the next respawn. That, that, uh, I think that part was about to blow. Panzer's coming out. Double, double Squiz Panzer comes comes out. And it could have been three. It was so close. If we were just slightly aimed to the right. Uh, so Insane's airstrike's not going to um, go off. So it's not going to damage that tank. His nade is going to finish it off. As we see Coop pushing towards Insane, he's gonna get that headshot onto uh, onto the Dutchman and take him down. As uh, push towards side, we're gonna see Coop touch the tank from the upper upper CP area, and he's gonna try and finish it off as well. Uh, comes up against a medic. Uh, nice, nice finish from Coop. Really smart play. Uh, he's not gonna be able to pick up that frag, but he does hold the CP. You want to see a plant go down from uh, Hybrid Tech here as uh, Raz is in the corner. He's going to try and hold out for that, that Mega Sneak for gold. He is going to catch one of the engineers out. Hybrid Tech is going to get killed and give. Nice work for Raz as the Panzer's is going to come out from the squids. Vaporize him himself. There's a whoopsie daisy there as uh, you see the defuse coming in at CP. It's not going to happen. going to get defused in the end. But we did see Cherry get taken out. It must have been Coop to finish that one off. The uh, tank needs to be building. Uh, so it's a, a pretty much skirmish mode for visual. We're not really... Uh, just a lot of uh, random mini fights going on. They have managed to slow down the tank a little bit. Three minutes have gone off the clock. But, uh, as originally thought, they are probably going to have to square things up on, on uh, Adam Nest. That's their map choice. 
as uh, the plant has gone down at that CP again. They are still winding down the clock, but there's a lot of time on on uh, Rocket's side. It's going to keep pushing in this up area. It's going to take down Raz. The five will come in. Uh, so the time will go off very, very soon. We're probably going to see Coop get that defuse in. And uh, he's indeed going to get defused. The truck needs, uh, the tank needs to get rebuilt though. And uh, we'll see. Um, Cherry is going to finish that, that tank off. Keep calling it a truck. It's in there, it's close. Uh, only only one, one left or less. Easy mistake to make, right? Uh, it hasn't been destroyed, it's going to be able to still roll on. The Nadia's going to come up and destroy it, however. And uh, the allies are going to be in their charge and uh, get the tank moving once more. Uh, it should be able to get into position this time. As uh, we do uh, see the, the doors get blown open, Squiz is going to move towards that third arch and he's going to be able to push around the back. And he's going to try and uh, get that respawn frag in. He's got a couple to deal with, maybe. One guy is going to appreciate him. The other is going to be able to get that frag in. And I think we saw a double Panzer frag come in. And that's from Raz on the respawn. And uh, a lot of uh, pressure on the Axis now. As you're going to see the frag come in for Coop and Milk. And I think there's only one or two guys alive for the uh, Axis team. Hybrotech. Uh, all alone at that, at that bank. I think I do hear actually some revives. Uh, coming in, maybe and it's going to be actually the enemy. Is a couple of the rocket players are outside the bank. He has got back up from one medic now. And uh, are doing what they can do. Uh, but yeah, like I say, time is not on their side. They have to keep this up for another nine and a half minutes. And they're literally hanging on just, just. Um, Oh, she's got teammates at support. Uh, someone in second as well. Gibbed out. Three kills coming in. Another kill maybe coming in onto a uh, build up at third. As uh, Raz is going to decide to push out. And they're uh, going to get a strike down. Or artillery down at first arch. As uh, the next spawn is going to come in from visual soon enough. And I think they managed to push through the artillery maybe. It doesn't look like they're going to push through the artillery. Uh, Panzer does come out from Squiz, he's not going to hit anything there. I, I think someone has their hands on the objective. I thought I saw the uh, little green marker. As the allies are pushing down that long that long, long way towards the barrels. So we've got a, a little bit of a setup in inside the bank. And this is what I said about the difference between Lamp and, and Coop. And we saw Lamp against, uh, Lamp against Comrade. We didn't see too many of these uh, long range rifle shots into the bank. Maybe he's not just, he just doesn't feel, feel consistent with it, doesn't want to waste his charge. We did see uh, Coop just pick up a long range shot. A couple of team kills coming in for Rocket. And uh, again, Visual actually holding on for another couple of minutes. And uh, the time is now becoming a bit more, more favourable. I see another rifle grenade come in, as I say, Coop. Really good with that rifle grenade. Raz is going to be able to pick up the objective. He's going to maybe just push out straight uh, towards that third arch. He's uh, got a couple of teammates in that area for backup. He's going to take a peek towards second, taking a lot of damage. He's going to get nailed as he uh, runs across. And he's going to be able to pick him up. Objective uh, so the objective has been picked up. I'm not who, sure who by. As the Panzer is going to come down towards the long way. It's going to be uh, returned to the objective. And uh, time is uh, half done. Half the time is gone. Uh, Rocket are on the last stage. They can get it done fairly quickly, but... It has been bogged down a little bit here. And we could be in, could be in for a, a fright. If they don't uh, start working a bit bit better together. They aren't really... Uh, they're sort of... I don't know. Taking it a bit too easy. They uh, need to just clean this, this uh, map win up. Otherwise, uh, Visual are going to take advantage. And I don't think they're going to... They're gonna, not going to take it easy at all. I said they're maybe going to start seeing the finish line in their sights for this map as they're closing in towards this uh, bank stage. We've got a couple of guys in inside the bank itself. Frank does come in for Raz. He's going to get nearly taken down for, by uh, by all there, but again we've got a couple, quite a few guys at the bank stage. I protect is going to get dropped. As, uh, a couple of guys set up inside the bank. 
multi-man push. Squiz is going to be able to get his hands on the objective. The push is coming towards this bank carrier. Guy at second, they should be able to push across with the objective. One guy uh, still roaming around this second arch. I can't see where Squiz is. He is very fast, so when he does move, he will move. He is going to get taken down. Outlaw is going to be able to finish him off after Ava. Um, didn't manage to get him down. And we've got, um, it looks like... I've got no idea. He's pushing in for this goal. It's going to be Raz. He's going to go straight across the middle. Uh, actually, he's going to aim to go up that long area. The respawn of Axis is going to come in. And they're not going to push out that, um, that first arch too quick. You might have seen Gizmo just catch the uh, sight of the objective there. Uh, so he's going to try and push towards the truck. He's going to come up against an ally player. He's going to get taken down. Squiz does get taken down as well. And uh, I didn't see it, but Raz managed to get there. The goal in the back of the truck, and this looks like it's going to be a first map win for Rocket. It took a little bit longer than I think most people would have expected. We saw them taking their time on that last stage. The first stage, however, 20 or so seconds. A little bit slow on that tank stage as well. And, uh, if only, if only Visual would have set a time. If they would have set 10 minutes, uh, we're creeping up on 10 minutes right now. Um, they would have won. However, it's going to be allies who are going to be moving the truck away. Very soon, Milk is going to pull that truck. And this is going to be a one map soldier. lead for the ally team. As I say, well deserved. And that full hole would give the job for sure. Their attackers have been a bit, a bit lazy. Visual were working pretty hard to try and slow them down. And they've got to four minutes remaining, not too bad in the end. As we are going to go to Visual's map, which I'm pretty sure is going to be Adelnest. Unless something changes for the grand final. And the clock is going to continue on, and the clock is definitely going to be beat. And we're going to bring up the scores for you guys. As, uh, 44 kills coming for Gizmo. And uh, that's pretty much it for his own team as the big frags coming for the Rocket team. 55, 52, 47, 57. Unbelievable. So it is, it's going to be visual attacking. If they get full held here, it's going to be GG. It's going to be game over. Rocket on the defense. Know that if they can get that full hold in, of course, they will be the champions of ET Reborn Land. But fight. And a full hold on Adonis is quite a tough ask, even for the best teams. Frags is going to come out, as you can see, Cherry's on the note today. The dodge comes in, and no frags at this early stage in the map. Lots of damage coming for both teams, as a couple of frags are going to go back and forth. Uh, the Axis are going to respawn back in, as Coop's going to get off a, a long range grenade over the top. And he's going to be able to get that damage onto Ava, taking him down. And the Rocket guys have moved back into position. Hypertech uh, nearly getting that uh, half down, seemingly. As a lot of rocket kills come in, maybe a couple of falls. Uh, I think they've only got three players alive. Um, tap out, it was a tap out. Unbelievable. I don't think the give was going to come in from Ross. So now they're going to do their best to uh, stall this next spawn. You're going to see Coops there alive. The push is going to come into this low area. As uh, we are going to get a spawn, a, a spawn, a pause from the Axis team. I'm not sure what the problem is. Prepare to fight. As the match is going to be unpaused, Visual gonna keep trying to get this first stage a minute already off the clock. And uh, Adonest, every every second counts here. They're going to get hold, held here at this first stage for uh, four or five minutes. It could be, uh, be very hard for them to defend that. We're going to see a rocket kill out come in. We are seeing one player stay alive every time, which is uh, really important for the defense. If they all kill out, it's going to give so much freedom to allies to just move in. A nice, nice uh, kill from Lamp comes in and Squiz pushing forward into a really lame position. Here's a look at some footsteps into uh, the drop down. He's going to be able to pick up quite a lot of damage. No uh, gib onto that engineer, and they may be able to move into this for this plant as uh, a couple of the guys are pushing up that ladder. And we're going to see Axis spawn in there. I'm going to fall back and we're going to see them uh, give up that first stage. 
they're going to set themselves up quite heavily for the uh, for the next stage. They're going to do it all over CP. As uh, Panzer comes in, it's not going to be able to connect. And we're going to see Milk take down one on that respawn. One out for full. As uh, it was insane actually killing out slightly early. So oh, Outlaw is going to be able to come back in. No problem for him. As uh, Great. They're waiting for the doors to uh, open here. Gonna see, uh, I think it was one of the access players being quite frustrating. Seeing him in the back from trans. Had quite a bit of time to get into position. They are being quite a lot of frags. The visual guys double rifle grenade comes out from Coop. And they might try and put on some pressure towards the documents. As uh, we do see someone is picking up. It is out more. As uh, he's gonna get taken down. And uh, the respawn of. Uh, what, the, what, the, what have I just seen? The respawn of the allies is gonna is gonna come in. That's actually woken me up a little bit. The respawn of the allies is gonna come in, and they uh, saw Outlaw just fall to his death off the bridge. As uh, the, the rocket guy is gonna be able to hold on at this stage. Uh, we're gonna see a couple more, a couple more allies coming across this bridge. Nice grenade put down on uh, on the bridge. Gonna be able to slow them down quite heavily. As a uh, nice grenade, um, or nearly a nice grenade from Hybrid Tech gets killed and Insta gives himself. And already a lot of time in on the clock from the Axis, three and a half minutes. And the Rocket guys seem to be really up for this. They want to get this done at this point. If they can get in that full hole, like I said, six and a half more minutes. It's going to be a top loss uh, on, on Adler. Nice grenade comes out. It's going to be able to take down a teammate. This Panzer shot from uh, Insane is going to hit the wall. And uh, I, I, think, I don't think he would have wanted to have seen that. As uh, gonna see Coop on that rifle grenade. Someone to deal with in pit. He's gonna back off. He does dodge a grenade uh, by doing so. As, uh, loads of rocket frags coming in. And uh, one more player alive. It's only Hybertech. He does get taken down. I think that's a full spawn for Hybertech. Uh, a big ally push coming across. They might be able to get a nade down in that window. They are going to have to pick up the objective. It is going to be an outlaw for that objective. He's going to be able to put in quite a bit of damage. There's uh, quite a few players pushing through the window. He isn't going to be able to get that finished off. As Cherry's going to be able to pick up that double kill. And Visual are making some reasonable progress. They're getting into the documents area. They are slowly breaking down that, that, that rocket defense. And it looks like they're going to be able to get the objective and get away. Hybertech took a ton of damage though. And I don't think uh, the Axis are going to chase here. You're going to see six guys go towards that trans. And uh, they're going to sit up heavily at the transmitter. And, uh, three, three kills do come in for uh, for the Allied team. Milk in position. He's got to pretty much do it single-handedly here. As, uh, he's going to have a couple of players coming pushing towards him. He's got another player. He's got another teammate with him. He is going to get taken down. And this is going to be a time set for the allies as you're going to see the objective run in. And it's going to be objective six minutes, five minutes, 21 second time. And that is a bit longer than their last last time they played this map. It's a huge ask for visual, we've got to be honest. They don't just have to defend for the six minutes or five and a half minutes here on Adonis. They have to win a decider, then win a second game. And uh, they're up against such a top team who don't seem to... Uh, too tired or anything. You don't see any uh, any of that creeping in. Fight. So you're going to see Raz with the Panzer off the bat. Let's see what he can do. He's going to be able to get that Panzer shot on the left hand side. Nice. He's going to be able to pick up one. Coop does uh, pick up a rifle grenade as well. Insane's going to reply with a uh, Panzer frag of his own, but unfortunately, Outlaw is going to get a team kill grenade in. Double grenade comes in for Ross, and Dynamite he's going to be able to block off Only the, uh, five minutes, the gunfire towards his engineer, who had literally one health. Oh, he's going to go down on that first stage so quickly and they're going to give themselves plenty of time for that backstage but the Axis are going to go really aggressive trying to um, go towards that, that plant they might uh, they might give it up here As in, I think we're going to see Cherry just push through this door he's uh, he's confident that his team have got this on lockdown we're going to see um, the last two Axis players remaining just defending the top of that uh, stairwell Construct the command we're going to have Cherry pushing Past the bridge, he should be safe from the, the next spawn, and he should be able to build the CP up without too much of a problem. 
4 minutes and 18 seconds remaining on the clock as we're going to see Rocket pushing towards the objective Big Frags coming in for visual they do pick up quite a few and I think we have one of the Rocket players on the Panzer we're going to stick on uh, on Insane at the moment, he's at this back stair area quite an important position, he's going to be giving a course for low, low area, he does get in a frag but he's also going to be rotating up top like this to help out high and and get some calls here as well. Going to get in some long range damage as uh, he spots out Coop and uh, he's going to try and dodge that right away. Three guys coming in this low area. Uh, long range Luger is uh, really put to use. He's probably going to come out here as uh, the Gib comes in and we're going to pick up now Coop on the attack. Going to try and pick up someone on the respawn. Raz did get that panzer off and a team kill nade, a team give nade maybe. He isn't going to come in. Uh, but there's so much pressure on these visual guys in this document's run. And they are picking up loads of frags. Big double. Uh, no. Uh, the grenade comes out and he's going to be able to push forward. Coop tries to uh, get things back for his team. It's not going to happen. The kills do come out for for the Axis, and they may be able to get into this uh, documents room. Nice Panzer from Raz is actually going to weaken them on that team door area. And uh, the grenade is not going to do any damage this time. Uh, time running out for, for Rocket. You're going to see they've got 2 minutes 45 seconds remaining. And uh, Visual on, on course to force a decider in the grand final. As uh, Raz is just going to run in and pick up the objective. He is going to get taken down. Brilliant stuff from Raz though. He has picked it up back up. As uh, it's going to be a really tough finish for Visual. They have to set up a defense here. They are on this, uh, this ramp. They have got Squeeze to deal with. Nice kill by Squeeze. He isn't going to be able to pick up that Gib though. As the uh, lamp has been picked back up. No, he got Gibbed. Brilliant stuff from, from Squeeze there. And again, we're going to see the same situation we saw last time where um, we're going to see Lamp um, out for quite a long spawn. Trying to defend transmitters going to be very hard. Panzer nearly came out from Squiz. Three guys grouped in that uh, transmitter room. I see a double frag coming here for uh, Outlaw. Medic. And uh, the frag coming in, double rifle grenade shot from uh, from Coop. As uh, a couple of the axes are um, reasonably uh, pushed forward. They are going to get overrun a little bit. Gibbs are going to come in. Raz wants the gun. As the big push comes in for allies, it's going to be um, Raz to run it home. And it's going to be Rocket seemingly winning the grand final here and the tournament ET Reborn round. And that is going to be a 4-2, to two, a 4-2, to 4-0 to uh, victory. And we'll pick up the scores. Not that it matters. It's going to be the end of the game. It's going to be GG. And uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm happy that it's over. I'm happy that it's over, I'm going to be honest. As, uh, it's been a long, very long tournament for you. I didn't even update the scores on the screen. That's how tired I am. I am absolutely destroyed. I'm actually destroyed. I, uh, I'm going to update my main overlay. I do apologize for not updating the scores on the screen. But it is going to be a 4-0 to zero victory for Rocket in the grand final. And they're going to take first place at, at uh, the event.